My name is Mina and I'm 12 years old. Allow me first to introduce what my topic is. My topic is what I think of the world now and how I think we should solve the problems of the world now. So I'm Libyan and every year when the summer holiday approaches, we as a family live a problem. We all get excited when we go and apply for a visa in foreign countries. We wait for approximately two weeks to one month. They don't reply, or if they replied, they would reject us. Sometimes we have to understand that the problem is not us. I always tried to understand what the problem was, and as I grew up, I started to understand that the, because of stereotyping or racism, they would reject us, or maybe because of another problem that I don't know. This is me and my family visiting Turkey. The problem for me was that those countries or some people think that Muslims or Arabs or people are terrorists or other things. Just because an Arab or a person did a mistake, we all take blame of it. But do I have to? Do I have to carry it all on my back? Do I have to go and apply for visas and be ashamed of it because I get rejected? No, I don't have to. But I keep asking myself why. My mom just says, in countries they believe like all for one and one for all but I don't believe in that word only if you are close with that country or close with those people can those countries or can't those people know that there are innocent people or children that want to go abroad or visit the world or learn cultures or be something different or be someone or know themselves by visiting countries the problem is because of the wars that happened recently. Because of those wars, our biggest problem that have affected millions or billions of people is racism, stereotyping, gender, sexuality, or many more problems. And because of those wars, there were hap revolutions happened and a lot of things happened. A lot of people shared their problems. A lot of people shared their problems and they shared it like me and they tried to solve the problems but they couldn't. And I said, I will try to say my word. Religious, race, gender, sexuality, equality, and culture, and many more problems. All of the problems are the reason why, are the reason why millions of people's dreams are shattered, faded, lost. And because of that, this world is not equal. Some don't even go to school because they don't have money or really because of their gender, because of their race, because of their culture. There always has to be something negative or there always has to be something that blocks us. Did you ever want something really bad but your parents said no? Well, let me tell you, appreciate it because at least you have parents that tell you no. Because some don't even have parents to tell them good morning or good night or a sweet word because they abandoned them. Because maybe they're sick or because of their race or the way they look like or their gender. A lot of stuff happens but we don't even notice how it's important. Imagine you're not going to school, you're not accepted by your country, you cannot enter hospitals because of your race or your gender, because of just something that is in you. These problems can be solved, but we can because elders or the previous generation are telling us, you know, these, these, these several people are bad people. That's why we, the new generation, are going to be like them and the next generation, the following generations are going to be like us. I tried to talk about these problems to others, but some didn't understand. And some told me, why don't you look at this world with a positive point of view? I said, can I? And they said, yes, you can, because they're solving these problems every day. I told them, solving one problem can be something good for people, but solving, solving the others is not good because you're just solving one thing and you're leaving another pile of problems on the next side of the world. We humans started the problems and sent them to each generation. And now the problems are a big pile of problems that I've mentioned previously. It might be impossible to solve them, but at least we can give children their freedom to live. We can give them a chance. Because I know every single one of you believes that children are the innocent ones. Because it was not their choice to choose their parents. It was not their choice to choose their culture, their, uh, their race. It was not their choice. It was not their choice. It was their destiny. And you are making their destiny a bad destiny. Because instead of making them believe in themselves, instead of making them believe that they can survive or make something good, you're making them think that they should die, that they're not belonging here. 
People say in order to stop thinking negative, we should start thinking positive. But can you? In this situation, in this time, in this second, in this hour, in this day, can you think positive? I've already mentioned enough problems, but can you think positive? Can you put yourself in a happy mindset and can you live this world without even having a tear every day? The problem, don't get me wrong, but the problem is just not about the visas for me, but about the people that are getting bullied every second and day and hour and every, every year, every month. Why don't you people get that because of you we're having problems, psychological problems, and because of you millions of people died because they suicide. But know that because of you, someone is going these, through these problems every day. Thousands of years ago the same problems happened, but as people became more intelligent, they forgot about those problems. But now we're living them again, as if we're living the past. Why? Did we lose our minds? Did we forget how to empathize? Did we forget that we're all humans? Did you forget that you have dignity? I know someone out there doesn't, and because of you these things happened. I know you'll say that I just bullied someone, but I'm sorry because you took part of ruining our only home planet. Our mother earth, which people say this is our home, but I don't think so because a lot of people say that they don't belong here anymore. More than 200,000 people want to go to Mars where they know that they might not survive and they know that it's just a one-way trip. We asked them, is that much easy to give up on Earth? Some said, a place where I'm bullied, a place where people don't love me, a place where I'm pointed out, a place where I'm not accepted. What is the reason that I'm here? Why am I even standing here? Maybe I can start a new life there, they say. Another main problem is that even, not the problem about the adults, adults telling us to do that or that, but they're even making others or their kids to be like them. So those, the kids that they're getting, the kids that are bullying the other kids are not going to be confident and strong anymore because they're going to cry every day instead of going there to their parents or to other people or talking the problem to other people they're just gonna cry or they're gonna leave that depression a child a kid that can be four years old five years old six years old can you believe can you think that they can hold that much pressure inside them no because even big people or adults or a lot of other people they cannot some people you should explain that to some people but because of you remember that it's your fault why, 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 I keep asking myself, but we cannot solve these problems. Can't we, the new generation, make peace? Can't we, can't we? I even asking more problem, more questions that doesn't even have answers. I'm gonna talk about a girl called Snezana. And she, this girl, uh, solved a problem in her own school. And she ended conf uh, conflict by making, uh, by turning bullying into something good. I'm not saying bullying is something good, but taking all that hate, taking all that uh, pointing out, taking all the stuff that negative people said, she talked to them one by one by one and she told them that it's not my right, it's not your right to point me out. And she ended the conflict. Imagine, imagine every person, each school just ending their conflict and making peace in their school. This, this world, this earth, we can, we can save it, we can make peace. But I don't think so because not a lot of people have the same mindset as I do. People say this world is like a cup which is overflowing, but sometimes it's like an empty cup. Because not all of us think the same way and not all of us are going to solve this world. If you think that you should save this world, make your step now because the world needs you now. As Albert Einstein says, peace cannot be kept by force. It can only be achieved by understanding. Thank you for your time.